let's take a look at the self-healing functionality. And we can start by recording a test for this website. So I just copy the URL and I open the NTS Chrome extension and I paste the URL here and I click on the start recording button. And now I just use it like a regular user would. As you can see, the Chrome extension recorded the steps that I performed in the browser on that website. Let's quickly add an assertion as well. Okay, let's stop the test recording and save it. So the name of the test case will be sign up. And I'll create a new test suite called SWID. And now you can see it here, it's saved in my account in the cloud and I can access it. And I can see the steps here, the steps that we just recorded. And for example, let's take a look at this step, write text in last name. So if we inspect this element, we can see that ID here, last name. Okay, now because this is a, a sign up page, if we would use the exact same email, uh, that page would probably tell us that the email is already registered and we need to use a different email. So when testing a sign up page, you probably need to generate a new random email for each test execution. So let's do that. Let's add a new step here, generate a random email, select the set variable action, give this variable a name and provide the domain for that email. Okay, so instead of using this hard-coded value, I'll just use this email variable. Okay. Now, let's go to the test suite level and enable this setting, this machine learning setting. So what that does is, as the test is going for the steps, it will look at each step and at each element and it will store additional locators for each element. It will store up to 100 different ways of locating each element. So let's run this test so it will gather data. Okay, so we can see the test is finishing. Let's look at the logs. We can see that it generated a new random email and we can see that it went all the way to the end. And since we ran it with the machine learning option on, it means it stored a lot of information, a lot of additional information about each element. So, when is that useful? When, you, when can you use that information? Let's say, for example, here, let's say that at some point, a developer makes a change and this last name input will have a different ID. Maybe it will have the ID surname. So let's try to do that for this page. And we can change the ID of an element with some JavaScript. So I will get this ID and here in the console, I can just do document get element by ID, last name, and then simply change it to surname. Okay, and now if we inspect that element, we can see that it has the ID surname. So the same JavaScript code that we executed here, let's add it in our test. Let's add it, for example, here. Okay. 
so what this does is after we access that page, it will change the ID of the last name input. Let's run the test. So you can see here in the test execution logs that we have an error that no element could be found with the last name input because we changed the ID. So uh, our engine is not able to find any element with this ID because there is no element with this ID. So this is the type of scenario where you can use self-healing and let's use it right now. So let's go back to our test and let's enable the self-healing option. So what this does is when it encounters an error like that, it will look for all of the, let's say, uh, locators that it's stored and see if any of those locators can be used to identify that same element. Let's take a look at the logs. So let's go to that step where we had that last name input. And you can see here the output from the self-healing. It says no element could be located with that ID. So it's saying that the following CSS selector can be used instead. And you can see the CSS selector here. And it's telling you that this test execution will use that CSS selector, but your test won't be updated automatically. And if you want to update it, you can just click on this button. And instead of having this ID, you can just add this CSS selector that we have there. And that's it.